channel and I'm gonna go through my favorite autumn winter um, favorite I fashion items that I am loving this year I don't do many fashion videos although I am a massive lover of fashion um, I did one back in the spring summer time and went through my favorites and purchases that I'd made in spring summer over a couple of months and I had some really positive comments on that and I know a lot of you enjoyed it so I thought I would do a similar one for the autumn winter months so I'm just going to go through a few of my favorites some of them you will have seen already in previous videos some of them I've bought this year so they're new um, but I thought I'd share them with you nonetheless and anything that I brought previously in previous years um, if I can find it linked or something similar I will pop it in the description box down below before I get into it happy November can you believe it's November already cue the Christmas music <laughs> some of you I'm sure are being like Charlotte it's far too soon for Christmas music but you know me I love this time of year I'm a December baby I love everything Christmas everything December everything winter and I'm ready for it but don't worry this video isn't Christmassy um, although it's not gonna be long until my videos do turn Christmassy anyway get comfortable make sure you're cozy and warm and I hope you enjoy this video also I thought I'd change my setting because it's such a gray dull typical winter's day today and this is the br probably the brightest room in our house at the moment, which is our bedroom. Um, so I thought I would do it in here. So if it's a little bit dark in places, then I can only apologise, but it is winter now, so we've got to work with what we've got. So my first couple of items that I want to show you, you will have seen in previous videos. Um, if you didn't watch my previous video, then why not? <laughs> make sure you go and watch it after you've watched this one but I've said before I am not a massive hat lover not because I don't like hats I love hats but my head I think is quite big and most hats don't fit me or I don't feel suit me I feel I don't know a bit because I'm not used to wearing a hat I feel a bit self-conscious when I wear a hat sometimes so I just tend to not to wear one in the summer you probably won't see me in a hat but in the winter is when I do turn to hats because probably partly because it's a practical thing I need to keep my head warm um, because even though I've got all this hair it I, I, it doesn't always keep me the warmest um, and the other reason is because hats in the winter are usually a bit more stretchy and do fit my head so my first couple of items are hats You'll have seen this one, those of you who did watch my last video, going to the pumpkin patch, I wore it in that video. It is a bucket hat and it is this Sherpa material. Super cozy, super snuggly. I got it from Fat Face just recently as well, so I will link it down um, in the description box. And I think it's just the cutest little hat. I also put a bit of a poll up on my Instagram story asking other people's opinions because like I said, I can feel a little bit self-conscious in a hat, but I got a very positive response on this, so I kept it. And I will definitely be wearing this to Christmas markets in the coming weeks. This next one is a purchase I made a couple of weeks ago when me and Carl popped into town. You will have seen me showing it to you then. It's this barber beanie hat in this really lovely sort of like brownie beige colour. And this is for the depth of winter when it gets super cold this can be worn it's casual enough to wear on dog walks to Christmas markets and it's tight around your ears so it keeps your head nice and snugly I love the color of it the color of it I feel like will go with any color coat as well you could wear this with a black coat a cream coat brown whatever so going from my head to my toes <laughs> My next purchase that I have, I have one that I, is a vintage item and one that I have, I have got my hands on this year. I'm going to move the camera back so I can show you properly. I don't know if you can see all that way away because I can't see myself very well. But I, let me take them off to show you. I have jumped on the bandwagon of the ultra mini Ugg boots. I joined the party a little bit late 
so I wasn't able to get the original colour but um, I did get these black ones and they're really nice and actually the black I love as well because they just go with everything I mean the original colour do too but I just thought it was a little bit different as well so I have been wearing these quite a lot I've been walking Arnie in them when it's dry um, and just popping them on they're literally I feel like they feel like you're wearing slippers out of the house <laughs> and it's an acceptable way to wear your slippers out of the house um, the only thing I will say with these I, I I read a few different places that you know take your true size or take a size up I did end up getting a size up but I would say if I do get my hands on the original colour then I would probably go for my original size so which is a seven I got these in an eight and I can feel my feet moving around in them a little bit but I thought well I'll keep them because they still fit fine they're not slipping off my feet or anything um, and actually I can wear thicker socks when it comes to the winter for extra warmth and then my other Ugg boots which are my vintage item <laughs> are these um, just original Uggs that I have had wait for it I have had these for 17 years I bought these when I was 18 years old. I still remember the occasion very well. It was a very expensive purchase for me at the time. Um, and it still is today, to be fair. Um, but I got these in the sale, in a January sale when I lived in Cambridge. I was shopping with my mum and I picked them up there. And I still have them. And I still wear them to this day. They are obviously quite worn now, being 17 years old. But still very wearable and still have a lot of years left in them I think um, they come up to like mid calf um, they have been chewed a little bit by Arnie where is it <laughs> on, on there he got hold of these when he was a puppy but it's nothing that is really noticeable it's only on the one I got to him before any serious damage was done I did used to have Ugg slippers but he literally shredded the fluff off the front so I had to get rid of them which is very sad because I loved my Ugg slippers as well. But another thing I like about these ones is that you can literally just wear them as normal, like so. Or something else I like to do is to turn over the top and it gives you this little bit of fluffy the inside on show, which I think is really nice and extra wintry. But yeah, they're super comfy, super easy to just throw on if you're popping to the shop or just nipping out somewhere and they keep you really, really warm as well. But yeah, 17 years old. Can you believe that? If you've got anything in your wardrobe that is older than my 17 year old Uggs, which I'm sure loads of you do have, then let me know what it is and how old it is in the comments below. Next up is actually something that I purchased last year, but I have noticed that it is on the website again this year. And it is my White Company Gilet. Yeah, I got this about autumn time last year and I love it. It's in this cream colour it has a detachable hood which to be honest I've never actually detached it's got this fluffy lining around it which was perfect at last year's pumpkin patch because it was raining so I had my hood up if you go back on my Instagram you'll see that I had my hood up in every picture because it was chucking it down um, and then it's got this sort of like faux fur lining on the inside which is super soft as well so if you are having to use the hood it also keeps your head nice and warm and then it's got this zip zip fastening but then it also has these buttons as well and it's slightly padded but I think it's just perfect even with an all black outfit um, or you can go all cream or just neutral colours I feel like this goes with so many things as well and this is definitely one I'm pleased that I got last year. In fact, I got this from the White Company in Winchester when we went to Winchester Christmas Market last year and um, yeah, I really like it. I've worn it again already this year and I will be wearing it again for years to come. Let's see if I've got this in 17 years. <laughs> 
I also feel like a gilet is a really good option when it's not overly cold yet, which we are experiencing this year in the UK. It's been quite mild for quite a long time. I feel like it's start, the temperatures are starting to drop now. But if you're thinking, oh, I don't really, it's not cold enough for a coat yet. I feel like a gilet is a really perfect option because you still have your arms free to let some air through, but, um, but you still have, your body is kept nice and warm just in case. And that brings me on to my fifth, is it my fifth item? No, it's actually six items, but two boots, two hats, two jackets, coats. So my gilet, and then my next item is, and my last item, is brand new and I haven't worn it yet. I do like to get a winter coat each year, um, but I wanted a longer coat, a really warm, practical, but also looks really nice coat. I had um, Christmas markets in mind when I bought this coat. And to be honest, I feel like for the last couple of years, I've really wanted a lovely long teddy coat. And it was just finding the right one. And I feel like I found it this year. Because coats are not cheap, so I feel like you have to really love it to to justify <laughs> the money for some coats that are out there today. So, but actually, I really love this one, and I thought it was it was not too bad as far as coats go. Could be better, but it's not too bad. This is my teddy coat. It still has the label on it because I haven't worn it yet, but. I'm not sending it back um, because I really, really love it. It's this like sort of brown tan colour. It is the most snuggly thing. I feel like this, if I put my black Uggs on right now, I feel like, and walked outside, I feel like I had my slippers on my feet and my dressing gown on wearing this, which is just the dream but obviously you want it to be socially acceptable as well. Um, I don't want to be that person leaving the house in my dressing gown and slippers, um, but to feel like I'm wearing that would be lovely. <laughs> um, and I really get that with this. Okay, I thought I'd move you back so you can see the full length on me. So it comes to like mid calf, just below my knee. I'm five foot nine for reference. So it is a nice long coat. It does have buttons on the front, so you can do it up. Um, if you wanted to but to be honest I'm just looking in the mirror that's there but to be honest I probably will just leave just leave this open um, and then just a scarf down the middle oh actually yeah you can have a scarf I've got this snood scarf that I got from Accessorize years ago um, and I've also got this really super snuggly scarf that I got a couple of years ago from Fat Face as well. Fat Face do really good things at this time of year. So I feel like a scarf, just put that on. And to be honest, I'd probably just leave it open because I feel like it looks a little bit better open. Um, the other thing that I noticed about this when it came that I didn't really notice on the website is that the sleeves are, I definitely don't have really, really long arms. <laughs> I don't think anyway. Um, they're in keeping with the rest of my body, I think. But the sleeves are three quarter length, which actually, at first I thought, oh, I don't know if I like that, but when you put your hands in these pockets, the pockets are so deep that your arms are literally not out at all. And actually when you've got gloves on, the gloves would probably come to there anyway. And it's also quite handy. So if you're if you're at a Christmas market and you've got a hot chocolate or you're eating churros or whatever it is, you're not going, your sleeves aren't going to get in the way. So actually, I quite like that. So it just caught me out when it came. I was like, oh, never had a coat with three quarter sleeves before. But hands in pockets, you would never even know. <laughs> Which, let's face it, my hands are going to be in my pockets quite a lot in the winter months. It'll probably, it'll probably go quite nice with this colour as well. Yeah, I feel like you could probably wear it with either colour, tuck it in, and then, then you're all set to go. <laughs> but yeah, I can't remember if I mentioned, but it's from Karen Millen. Um, they do it in a cream colour as well, which 
honestly this is the sort of coat that I feel like you could just get in every single colour that they do um, but I resisted maybe next year um, but yeah it's so so lovely I will link it in the description box down below if it's still in stock I'm sure it will be um, or at least one of the colours will be so yeah very happy with my purchase and very excited to wear this too I've said it about five times in this video but to my first Christmas market this year <laughs> Because we are actually going, or I'm going, Carl's, um, Carl sadly can't go because he's on a course. But um, I'm going to Winter Wonderland a bit early this year. Usually I go around my birthday, which is the 18th of December. But this year we're going for my friend's birthday, Monique. We're going, well, um, yeah, like I said, I keep saying we. Um, we as in me and Monique and her partner and um, another one of her friends and her partner we're going at the end of November so that's very exciting that we're going early this year and um, I don't know maybe we'll get one in before then as well <laughs> who knows but let me know if you've got any recommendations of any Christmas markets um, to go to this year because we went to Winchester last year and Winter Wonderland in London. Um, did we go to any others? I, I don't think so. But um, this year I really want to go to Bath Christmas Market. I know Bath Christmas Market hasn't been on for a few years. So I'm excited to go there this year. And Bath has a lot of memories for me and Carl now because it's where we got engaged so I'm very excited to go to the Christmas market there but yeah let me know um, if there's any others that you would recommend but that is all the items that I wanted to share with you so a few of my favorites coats boots accessories that I am loving this um, autumn winter obviously staples as well are good jeans nice jumpers that goes without saying but i hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments which your favorite item was and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and hit the subscribe button as it really does help my channel out and i'd love to see you back here for the next video because things are about to get very christmasy thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye